The Stone Kingdom, Great Zimbabwe National Monument. This historical site is surrounded by many large rocks. It's a vestige of a kingdom that once flourished in southern Africa between the 9th and 15th centuries. Zimbabwe means the House of Stone. The country was indeed named after this historical monument. The site built of large natural stones was a royal residence for the king. The stone wall is seven meters high. The earthen floor and furnace remain in their original state. The Shona people founded the kingdom. They came from the Sahara Desert, migrating southwards. They finally settled and founded a stone civilization here. The site had ritual sites and cemeteries. This was also one of the important places. A shout from here would have echoed right to the bottom of the hill. It was useful for passing on messages. A town lay at the bottom of the hill. It had 6,000 houses, and at its peak, 18,000 people lived here. The kingdom was a trading stopover and became wealthy with gold mined in nearby areas. Between the town and the royal hill is a circular monument made with stone bricks. It's known as the Great Enclosure. It's believed to be either the queen's residence or a temple. Granite blocks were cut into the same size and stacked up from the ground. There are no straight lines or right angles. It was entirely built in curves. It shows that stone masonry techniques at the time were highly developed. A conical tower stands inside. It's shaped like a granary and believed to have represented the power of the king. The descendants of the Shonas, the original people who founded the kingdom, still live in this area. The once flourishing kingdom suddenly disappeared during the 15th century. However, the Shona people who founded the kingdom continue to recount their glorious days in song. <laughs> 